Welcome back to another LinkedIn Ads video. This video is all about testing numerous different things and what you specifically should be testing in your LinkedIn advertising. Because as we all know, LinkedIn ads are quite expensive, so we need to be doing a ton more A-B tests to make sure we're getting the best results. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I A-B test for all my clients pretty much, because we really need to be A-B testing so many different factors to get the best performance out of our ads as possible. So if you, um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell button. I'm bringing out loads of videos around LinkedIn ads. And um, this video is sponsored by b2bhero.co. I'm gonna be writing so many articles in the next few months just about LinkedIn ads specifically, and my experience for running ads for really big clients and also startups. So I wanna give you all this information for totally free on b2bhero.co, check it out. The way I A-B test is in the account, what I'll start is with the base foundational benchmark stuff. So for example, I'll start with one ad, I'll set it all up and then I'll just click here click duplicate, it'll duplicate it, then I'll go inside the ad itself, say this is it here, and I'll just change one thing. So for example, in this ad, I might wanna change, change the audience type. So that's how I do it, and I'll do that. You just wanna change one variable per ad so you can really see the difference. So if, for example, with this ad we're changing just one creative, then we can see the results based around the creative or just the um, targeting type. So. I mean, there are different levels. As on the campaign level, we'll be A-B testing a few different things compared to the ad level. On the campaign level, we're testing with the objectives, the targeting type, bidding type, um, ad formats, and that's what we're, the potential we can A-B test here. On the ad um, side of things, we're gonna be testing creatives, copy, say if we're sending to specifically uh, A-B testing different landing pages, that's all gonna be in the ad section here. So if you click through that, you're gonna see within one campaign, we're gonna have numerous different ads. So we're gonna have so many A-B tests that we'll be doing over time. So let's jump into all the potential ones we can do on the campaign level um, by going through basically setting up an, a, a, new, um, a new ad. So I don't, you, for example, with the objectives, we can actually be testing Con, uh, website conversions versus website visits. That could be one test to see what's the best uh, objective and is LinkedIn changing? I'm always doing this test and always kind of finding website visits works better, but I have a feeling this is gonna change. Hopefully, you know, LinkedIn is gonna collect better data off the platform over time, but generally speaking, website visits has been working, but this is a kind of A-B test you could be doing. I think this is a lower level test though. This is definitely not a priority. One of the main things I'll be testing nearly, I mean, 100% of the time is targeting an audience. And there are two, a few different things you should be doing here. Firstly, it's the type of targeting. And I have a full LinkedIn targeting like a pro course, totally free, totally free LinkedIn ads targeting like a pro course. Link in the description below, definitely click it. It's totally free and it goes into deep, deep um, into how to target really well, all the different strategies. I think there are five strategies that you need to look at and we could be testing. So basically check that out. But basically you wanna be looking at targeting types. Like for example, um, an overview of this is like, okay, let's do the benchmark, which is job title. But as we know, if you've been watching my videos, job title is not always the best way to target. Or if it is, you're also missing out a large chunk of your audience because Job title is a free form field, so you're only reaching a roughly like 40 to 45% of your ICP through targeting by job title, and you're missing the underserved guys that you need to be targeting them in a different way. So they are there, that they just haven't put their job title correctly, so, and that's like over 60%. So it's really important to start with job title as a base, then just change one factor, and we can, for example, change and target by groups plus seniority, or targeting, for example, skills plus seniority, or targeting by like job function, which is basically like a department plus seniority. And these are the ways to target in different ways. Groups, for example, is amazing. Skills is really great to target someone like me, like a LinkedIn ads specialist. You don't have this job title in LinkedIn itself. So you can't target me by job title. You have to target me by skill and it's a great way to target me. So that's you know what we will be doing. The second thing is actually, I would always split it up either if you're testing ICPs. So for example, you might be wanting to test, okay, are we going for directors? or managers, so seniority. You might want to split, depending on the um, how big your audience is, you might want to split it by directors and managers to see how they respond to your offer and who might be you know, better 
who who is um who are you targeting who is responding best to your offers so a great one is directors versus managers to split it up another one could be exactly like who is your icp i.e okay let's try sales directors versus marketing managers maybe both could potentially want your service or both but you don't really know which one's going to respond better so you want to you know split it up like that so that's all that Another way is geography. I don't use that that much. Another one is like company size. Okay, let's try targeting the smaller companies versus the large companies. Let's see which one works better. Next we have, we can actually do by format. Again, I don't really do this that much. What I'd mostly do is just single image, but you could, for example, try um, single image and you could try a conversation ad and just see which one's getting the lead at a cheaper price. Generally speaking, single image will probably. So I wouldn't really do too many A-B tests around ad format. The main one so far is just targeting and there's a lot to do around targeting. Bidding again, I wouldn't look too much into. Um, I would just follow the bidding strategy that I have. Check out a video, I'll put in the link in the description below all about bidding strategy. And then the final one is once you go through to the next but this is when we start testing ad creatives. So for example, we will be testing all these different ad creatives. So here we have ad one, two, three, four, and they're all going to do the same place, but there's different creative one, creative two, creative uh, three, and then there's one creative with a different uh, type copy. So basically we have three different creatives and two different types. And we're gonna be testing which ones do the best here. So from an ad level, this is what we're gonna be testing. Another thing we should be testing on this level, but this is a bit more advanced, is landing pages. From This is where you set the landing page. So we could have, for example, this ad going with the exact same creative and exact same copy, exact same everything in the campaign in terms of targeting, but we're just sending them to a different landing page. And we then can see how each landing page performs based around that. So that's another thing we should be targeted, uh, A-B testing on this level. But what I would do, the most important things to look at is targeting type, landing pages, creative and copy. And you should be A-B testing this kind of stuff on all of your ads. And the reason why is like on, on the creative and copy, your click through rate is so important. One of the things we're fighting the most on LinkedIn ads is getting a really high click through rate. And that's all based around creative, copy and offer. And this is one thing I nearly forgot, offer. On the ad level, we can have different offers. So one offer can be download this gated content, here's the value. Another one can be do a demo and going straight for the kill of do a demo or speak to sales or you know that kind of thing. So you can be testing these two different, one very high friction offer, see what the conversion rate is there compared to like a lower friction offer, which most of the time, the 90% of the time or more, we're gonna have a lower friction offer work. But sometimes you have that direct offer work well. It costs way more to get the lead, but then sales converts a good amount of them. So the customer acquisition cost is actually better from the direct. More often than not, it's better just to get the lead. Um, but these are all the things we should be A-B testing to get really high performing ads.